Today, I just got in uh, a new Weber Smoky Mountain, 22 and a half. I'm a little late to the party. I know they've been out a long time, but um, I've got an offset that I'm pleased with, but the more I read up and uh, watch YouTube videos from other people on these Weber Smoky Mountains, I really like the uh, versatility of them. So, I'm going to uh, put this thing together. You see part of it back there behind me. Yeah, it just came in today, and this is 22 and a half. Everybody knows there's an 18 and a half and a 22 and a half. And uh, part of it's over there. And the drake. The ring and the bottom, and it's all in pieces. I just took it out the box. But uh, my old wall set's over there crying. What I'm gonna do is stick it together, and then I'm gonna make some upgrades. Uh, most of you know about, if you have one, having handles to go on the uh, body of it to lift it up when you uh, when it's hot if you need to. And then uh, I saw on YouTube where you can put bolts, to drill holes and put a bolt in here to make it easier to, especially on the bottom and when it gets dark, reaching down up under there to uh, got that from Justin over at Baby Back Maniac. And, uh, and of course the charcoal grates, you can double up on the uh, bottom one to uh, Keep the charcoal once it burns down some from falling through. And let's see, putting uh, some, I'm gonna drill some holes in the bottom here and put some casters on it so you can round. And what else? Uh, yeah, the handles. Anyway, there's about six modifications I'm gonna do to it. Uh, so, next time you see it, uh, hopefully I'll have my modifications on and I'll go over it again. Well, due to the magic of uh, editing and video, you won't, it won't be a, a, a time lapse. I'll have it done and just merge it with this video, but uh, anyway, I'll, I'll show, show you what I do with it. Yeah, the other thing, um, modification I'm gonna do is the uh, really one of the main things is put a hinge on the lid you can order that uh, hinge you just bore four, ho four holes two in the top and two in the side to uh, the middle section and there's a good uh, video on YouTube showing just how to do it um, I'll put a link on there when I go over. all right guys this next day we're been real busy Took a trip to Lowe's this morning, picked up a few more things. Uh, well, start with, and I'm not done yet, but I've got several of the modifications on the grill of smoker. One of them is on each one of these dampers. Didn't need one on the top, but you, you know, you can grab it by the bolt instead of a hot. And I've got one on each. Each one of the dampers below, this was halfway, the other two are closed off. And uh, just, let's see, these handles. Boy, you got to have some handles on this big boy. Those are two garage door handles. Uh, you can pick them up at Lowe's or Home Depot. They come two in a pair, a pack. I put an extra charcoal grate. I got that tip from T-Roy and uh, Justin over at Baby Back Maniac and I've seen some others out in the uh, internet or YouTube world doing some of these same modifications. I'm just copying y'all so I'm not claiming any anything as far as this is my idea. If you look on my YouTube site Phil and Florence you'll see on my description that I'm new at this and I'm copying you. So you better be doing it right. Anyway, I had a little issue, and I mentioned it earlier 
on this video it was last night my uh, lid didn't fit on my on the middle section and the middle section didn't fit good on the bottom the base and what I found is the middle part of this Weber Smoky Mountain was uh, it must have been squeezed by a forklift box forklift and that's the only thing I can figure it, it didn't dent it or scratch it or you couldn't see it but when you'd go to put it on there you'd have to pinch it on and so what I did I just got in a I, I took my measuring tape and I measured across the diameter all the way around and I found the wide spot and on that wide spot I put my chest up against it on one side of the wide spot and grabbed it with my two hands on the other side and I kept giving it a squeeze it took about 10 times doing that to get get it right and so until the lid just flit right up fit right on there because once I get that uh, uh hinge put on it's got to fit right so I got that fixed then I had to flip it over and do the bottom because the bottom wouldn't fit into the base uh, without pinching it in. And so I turned it over and did the same little squeeze method between my chest and my hands. And it'll, it'll, uh, it'll change. Uh, it's not that hard to make it change and to uh, move it. So I did that about 10 times on each end until I got the sweet spot and now it fits like a glove. I was gonna take it back to Home Depot but I'd rather, I would rather do this what I did to fix it than to go through all that trouble because I'd already put it together. Not that that's a big deal. But it's real easy to put together. So, I'm also, I also picked up, uh, I saw one guy where he had this magnetic doorstop and uh, he fastened it to the top of that dome and uh, the other part, somehow or another, he fastened it to the Maverick or his thermometer whatever he was using and that's a pretty good idea it keeps it away from the heat and I'm gonna play with that I'll let you know how that turns out I don't know if I mentioned putting the casters on I put uh, the casters on all the way around with the lock locking feature and that works good well there's most of it it's everything except the uh, bracket to hold the thermal works. I'm thinking about uh, putting a bracket on that leg down there and bolting it, letting it come up and turn so I can, a metal bracket, that's aluminum, it won't clamp to that anyway. Anyway, that's another little project to come, but I got the, uh, the hinge on. There it is. Works good. Uh, it's made well, stainless steel, so it won't rust. I put a little paint in the holes that are drilled. And I'll put a, there's a guy on YouTube that's got a real good video. If you'll just get on YouTube and uh, do a search on uh, Weber Smoky Mountain uh, hinge bracket, you'll see it. I think his name is Halpern, the last name, but a uh, very good video on how to put that hinge on. If you follow his instructions, you won't go wrong. I, I didn't follow them exactly, and I had a couple little problems, but I worked through it. And it works good, though. Raise it up, and it has a notch it slips down into. Just be careful. There's so much weight up here on this lid. You don't want anything to run into it or anybody walking by to hit it. Because you know how weight and leverage is. Uh, it, it could mess it up. But I mean, that probably won't happen. It takes two hands to let it down because you have to lift up on it. If you walk around and lift up with this handle, it goes right back down. It comes out of that notch. But uh, it's better than a poke knife with a sharp stick. What a guy used to tell me. So I've got my casters on. 
the hinge, the bolts on the damper slides, the handles on the side. I mean, you really need those handles if you need to lift that thing out during a cook because it's hot and it's awkward and it's heavy. Uh, down in the bottom, I put a extra grate turn sideways to keep, see there's some small charcoal right there if I hadn't have done that not far from dropping through and it gives you a little bit more life on the charcoal and the only thing that drops through is almost powder so I'm pleased with it did a good job for me and I'm looking forward to getting the uh, the rib attachment the, that you can't find on the internet. I, I found it in one place, True Value Online. They say they have it. I don't have a ship date yet, but uh, hopefully next week I'll hear from them again. They said they got my order and it'll be shipped as soon as they finish processing. So I'm looking forward to uh, doing ribs on that, uh, or hanging ribs like in a pit barrel. I think they they taste better that way. All right, Bill and Florence.